Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, Straight Like That. Well, I'm going to give it to you straight like that. What's up, SLD crew? How's everyone doing? Hopefully, everyone is doing good, honey. Staying safe and enjoying yourself while doing it. All right, child, I'm back again with another reaction video to the live life situation with the kiddos, Gerard and Nisha. Okay, I told y'all in my last video about Liv that I was going to upload a video that Destiny React uploaded from TikTok. I wasn't able to screen record it, so I'm going to share her video, and hopefully you guys will subscribe to her channel if you're not already subscribed to her. She's an excellent reactor. Love, love, love her channel. She talks about other YouTubers as well, not just the mommies. She also do the other, you know, content creators as well, okay? So, anywho, in this reaction video, Liv has a lot to say about Nisha taking her man and uh, Nisha thinking that she's the mother of her children. Okay, and uh, she want to straighten out a few things and let y'all know, but uh, they already know what type of time it is. We don't got you know too much for uh, Liv because she's a big old liar. Uh huh. The more weight she lose, the more she lie. Okay, all right. So we gonna get into that, and I'm gonna get my commentary on it as well as Miss Destiny reaction. Okay, all right. Before we begin this reaction video, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thanks to all the new subs that are here. Thanks to the ones that have been here, still here, always in the comment section. I will see you there. All right, without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. We in this bitch, finna get crunk. Abraz on fleek, the buck. Drop that shit, DJ OJ. <laughs> Bitch, I'm back. <laughs> I'm popular the man. I did not come to play with you hoes. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I like cornbread and collard greens, bitch. Oh, yes, you best to believe it. <laughs> yeah, B. I love this shit. So let me talk my shit. Uh, Why you want to put people in my business? I said, damn, bitch.
Hey y'all, it's Destiny, and as you can see, it looks like did do a live stream on TikTok. And guess which personality she was today? The victim. Liv also decided to say in this live stream that she actually went to Ryan's kindergarten graduation. But then she said something in this same live stream that told me she 100% did not go. Now we all know she didn't go. But what she said about what was going on there tells me all I needed to know. She didn't go, but she wants us to believe she went. And she actually said that somebody else important wasn't there. Y'all have got to see this. So if you're ready to hear the victim live, get on TikTok and talk about the situation once again, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. You know, like my ex, for instance, all he wants to do is prove a point on social media. That's his main thing that he's been trying to do and he's going to continue to do. He's not going to be happy until I'm either gone off this earth and he can be like, ha ha, I, 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 I made her, I'm, she's gone now. Or I lose everything and I'm in a shelter or, I, or I'm living out of my car or I don't know. Like, that's his end game of it all. This is my problem with what she just said. There's no end game to what Gerard is trying to do to you. You are the person that's doing to you. You do everything to yourself. You love to play the victim and you want to play the blame game. First of all, Gerard is not even on social media, you know, putting, you know, all his business on the internet for people to see and critique him and what plays out on the internet is things that Olivia puts out on the internet, not Gerard. Now, I don't know what other platforms he has besides Instagram because I follow him on Instagram. I always have followed him on Instagram and whatnot. I don't follow her because she toxic. I don't follow her. She toxic and she trash. You know, I react on her videos on YouTube as far as it go. But I don't know why she think that it's a game to her that he's playing on the internet to take her down and he's not going to be satisfied until she's not even on this planet anymore. It makes no sense. And first of all, who says that? And to be honest with you, girl, I know you about deep down inside love your kids and uh, <laughs> five takeaway three is two. You can't even handle the two that's at home. So when I'm three with their daddy, and you over there with your two, girl, enjoy your time by yourself. Because you do everything uh, for you anyway. You don't do nothing for them kids. So why you get on the internet and make a big deal out of it? I have no clue. Let's continue. And not only him, but that person he's with. I'm not going to, and I will not allow myself to, to pretend like this is something that it's not. Okay? This situation is so sick. It's so sick to the point where I, I have to co-parent with a person who's not a parent. <laughs> Baby, she mad because she not only deals with, I have to deal with the situation with not having the kids, but with Antonisha having some type of say so in what goes on in those kids life and that just bothers the hell out of her because you know those are her kids and she birthed them in the world okay and, and, and living in all fairness you are them kids mother and yes you did birth them in this world you don't have those rights in custody over those kids anymore you have what visitation uh yeah so the household where they live at you call in Tanisha the maid and all this other shit under the sun. But she feeds them, clothes them, take care of them like she birthed them in the world. So at the end of the day, you mad about that because you really wanted Aunt Tanisha to give up. You didn't want her to stick around this long. You want her to be gone. You you didn't think it was going to work out. You thought, oh, I'm going to drag this shit. I'm going to drag her ass on the internet. I'm going to do all this stuff. I'm going to irritate her and get under her goddamn skin. And she going to move around. And that has not happened. 
and how long them kids been gone. I mean, how long she been uh uh out the loop with uh Gerard? Four years. You two kids in after them three kids you had with that man. And you still to this day in 2024 mad about the whole situation. Baby, I'll be out here living my best goddamn life. Baby, I'll be done got them coins up. I'll be trying to live good. Thanking God. I would at least done change. But to me, that that's a big change in somebody's life. When you lose a person, and it's not to death. When you actually lose a person, that shit hurt. Especially her using, losing custody of them kids but olivia still tries to go against the grain and think she can uh you know book the system you know try to pretend like oh she ain't doing what that judge tell her to do oh yeah when she take them two steps of thinking she doing something different she get knocked back down by four of them yep you know she got to be chin chick and this chick is bipolar because when she not on here uh, geek geeked up about how she look and her weight loss. She on him. What she said in videos back. She not finna talk about no draw. That shit is a wrap. What what is she doing? What what is this lady doing? Sitting here. Who, what who is she talking about? Okay. Let's continue. Who's not in the equation? Who didn't lay down and make the kids? Who didn't lay down and? birth the kids who's not in the delivery room this woman that my ex is with is insane literally insane like insane she's crazy yeah i agree with you when you say this woman is literally insane yeah she is she insane for not not having put that foot up your ass she she's insane for actually going through this shit in her life dealing with a man with a stupid ass baby mama like yourself yep that's what she insane at but at the end of the day it ain't that type of party she actually loved the nigga and guess what still with him engaged to him and she raising your kids now what You guys have no idea what I'm dealing with. Yes, have I come on social media and talked mess about her out of hurt? Because at one point she was sleeping with my husband and, and she was a side chick and blah, 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 blah. But I mean, it goes on and on and on. Yes, I had every right to feel the way I felt about her. She was always very disrespectful. And she still is to this day. What makes her insane is because she's inserting herself to the point where my kids are uncomfortable. She doesn't care about my kids at all. This lady is fucking crazy. So, Nisha is disrespectful to you still to this day. And she was a side chick. And Olivia, what have you been? You definitely ain't been no mother to your children, and you still yet have uh, taken accountability for your part in losing the custody of those kids and losing your husband. You didn't give a damn about him when you was doing your thug deals because, truth be told, y'all both was doing shit to each other. Y'all both were doing it. But the thing about it is, you as a woman, you, you did a lot more than Gerard. Now, I ain't critiquing him because... He not on social media, and I never only person I known him to actually cheat on Olivia uh, with is Anthony. Not a busload of hoes. He probably have shit. We don't know, but Olivia, how many me and Olivia didn't put on her platform and introduce them to her channel as the, her man? Now it's oh, she the side chick. She was not only a side chick. He left your ass for her. So you can call her whatever you want to call her, see, as long as you calling her something. I don't give a damn. Yeah, Nisha got her fault in this shit because, yes, she was messed with Gerard when Gerard was married to Olivia. But here's the thing. Well, I got a problem here with uh, Anisha. What I mean with Nisha is when Gerard left you and went back to Florida and met, well, I guess he went back to Florida, I think, and married uh, Olivia, 
and then left from you if you went back to you. That I had a problem with. I felt like at that moment in time, that's when Nisha should have just cut her losses. Because, you know, and then again, she might be one of them females. She might see something in that nigga that uh, we can't see. And I ain't trying to figure it out. But for me, I wouldn't have dealt with nobody with no situation like drawers. And deal with nobody like Olivia. Because trying to keep the peace, trying to keep from going to jail, and trying to keep my foot out of her ass would have been hard to do. I couldn't, I couldn't have did that. Because, baby, I would have ran up on her. I'm telling you. I would have ran, I would have stalked that bitch. I would have ran up on her and ran down on her ass. You hear me? And I'm not talking shit. I mean what I said. Because I feel like it's an ass whooping should have been had a long time ago between them two. And see, Olivia won't be talking all this shit. You know what I'm saying? She talks too much shit because she think that, oh, I can talk my shit because Gerard is not going to allow her to do anything to me because I'm the, his, you know, his kid's mom. And he knows that Olivia is a Karen, just like she called the police on him. She called the motherfuckers on her, Aunt Tanisha. And Aunt Tanisha probably do have a lot to lose. She got more shit than Olivia. Okay? I don't care if we're both cheating. I don't, that doesn't matter. We're not, go, we're not doing a history lesson on me and my ex. And see, this is another thing I don't like about her. You you doing a whole live stream. You got people communicating you, communicating with you in the live stream about what you're going through. You got your dumb ones over here that don't know shit about her. That, you know, the new family over there on TikTok, yeah, they don't know, they don't know the one that's from YouTube. They don't really know her, you know, background, where she come from. But, you know, a lot of them people that's in her chest, they know what time it is. See, she, she don't want nobody to critique and say shit to her. She just wants you to agree with what the fuck she say all the time. She don't want to talk about that, that both of them cheating on each other. Well, it happened. You can't erase it. Girl, please. It is what it is. Why is you talking about it then? God damn. My whole point is, I don't give a if I was fu if I was having doing whatever I was doing with the whole world. He was still my husband and we and him and I were still sleeping together. So that was still my that was still my husband. You understand? And bitch, you was nasty as fuck because you were sleeping with other people and still sleeping with him as well. You said on a many moons ago that Gerard was cheating on you, but Gerard always came back to you just to sleep with you. He didn't even, wasn't even visiting the kids. Didn't even give a shit about the kids. All he wanted to do was sleep with you. Now, you said that out your own mouth, ma'am. Don't try to claim him as your husband now when your ass came to Houston with that Mamiana goddamn gang shit. What did you do? You slept with somebody? And what was it alleged that she had got pregnant? She had to get rid of the baby because guess what? He wasn't Gerard's. Gerard's supposed to be hadn't fixed himself. He got a whole vasectomy. Meaning, I don't want no more motherfucking kids. Or, I don't want no more kids with this bitch. So, girl, please, miss me with the bullshit, sis. And any woman out there would feel the same way. When, regardless of what you were doing and what he was doing and what y'all were doing, it doesn't matter. Because he had a problem with who I was sleeping with at the time, and, and obviously I had a right to have a problem with who he was sleeping with at the time. We both had our issues with the people. So that's my right as a woman, and I'm not going to change the way I feel about that. I like that Destiny put up there all the dudes that she actually was affiliated with. I love that part of the whole situation because, girl, you nasty down. You nasty down because why was you picking all these men off POF, then getting them out of halfway houses, bringing them around your damn children and all that shit? Gerard wasn't taking them kids around Nisha and all that shit. Whatever he had going on, that was on him, not on your ways. You are talking about I mean, you, what you not going to change. That's that's your whole fucking problem. Girl, this lady is trash. This lady is trash, trash, trash. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. That's the facts. This isn't just a person who came out of nowhere after the fact and I just want to have an issue with her because I just want to. No. 
That's not the fact that that's not that's not what it is. That's what the internet tries to make it. That's not what it is. We've had a problem from the jump. From the jump. Okay. And for y'all to think that I'm supposed to bow down and kiss somebody's feet or something. And then on top of it, she helped my ex take my kids away from me. She formulated a plan to take my kids away from me as a mother because she saw what type of person I was and I wasn't gonna F him over. So she said, let's F her over. This is how we're gonna get the kids. Wait a minute. So you think that, <clears throat> oh, I can't even get it out. So you think, uh, Antonisha concoct this situation to take you down and take your children. Bitch, I ain't finna take Nam bitch down and take her kids. No ma'am. No ma'am. No. <laughs> Baby, not not no robbing and no not damn Ryan. Baby, not the way them kids set up. Girl, bye. Uh-uh. If she could have had it her way, she. Girl, please. She would definitely would have chose that. But this is a different scenario. This is a whole different scenario. She's in a relationship with him. So you think that she was telling him, go to the courts, get your children. No, Gerard made up in his own fucking mind. He didn't need Nisha to tell him that. He'll stand up dad. At the end of the day, he gonna stand up for his kids. So at the end of the day, he wanted visitation with them children. Why would she want to help him take you down so she can be responsible for his kids and deal with your fuck shit? Girl, if you don't know how you sound sitting up in this car looking good and bipolar, trying to put on that play the victim ass face, bitch, it don't work with me. Nothing that you do work with me. Olivia Johnson, girl, you is a absolute nutcase. Are you kidding me? You're not buying it. So let me block you since you're not buying it. Bye, baby. See you later. You gotta stop letting everything make you mad and just live your life. Anybody else wants to get blocked, just let me know and I'll block you. You don't deserve to watch my lives. You don't deserve to be in my presence. You don't deserve to watch anything I do. So, girl, go lay down somewhere. Take you a fucking nap. You lay off that shit because it's getting to your motherfucking brain. she's out of line of course of course of this is all she wants is validation that she's in her truth and people believe her of course she's out of line of course what's she out of line for doing girl you talk about gerard he stole your kids like a thief in the night now it's it's nisha's fault oh, baby. i cannot i ain't got it to do of course of course and if it was the other way around and i had a man who was doing what she does i would be so wrong i would be so wrong i would be trying to take his kids away from him and blah 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 and blah 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 and keep him away from oh my god are you kidding me y'all see what destiny put on the screen <laughs> You was keeping them kids away from Gerard while in relationship with toxic ass men that you met on POF in the halfway house. Girl, make it make sense. Didn't know shit about it. Oh, this this girl, this is a, a straight up play the victim pity party, Livia Johnson style. Okay. I've never done this to him. I don't care what nobody says. Maybe, maybe. When we first broke up and he was doing what he was doing, maybe I went like a week. No, you can't talk to them. That's it. It's cool. I changed my number. Yes, I did. I changed my number. He does not have my number. Cause I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that shit. So I'm not going back and forth. Oh. Oh. My leg was falling asleep. See, that's why this big old silver bag made a lot of her videos from back in the day private because you know she figured like oh let me wipe my 
shit clean because I'm trying to build up an audience over here on TikTok. I want them to believe in me because YouTube, I already know all my motherfucking business. Olivia tried to, thought she just really, really ex executed this plan very well. No, you didn't. People always find out your Vicky secrets. Just like you sit up on your ass and say you demonetize. But out in the same breath, your damn channel is in your mama name. See, you you monetize, but the money goes to your mama because you're trying to play in the court's face because you want the motherfuckers to think you ain't got no money to pay no child support like that. And you have two other children. Make it make sense. I, I, I know the people at the courts be like, what kind of shit is this? It's bad enough the men have always been a hot mess when it comes to child support. But you as a woman, you should want your girls to have everything they need. All your children, period. But I'm just saying, you should want your daughters to have everything they want and need. But Olivia refusing to pay that child support because she thinking she going to make Gerard and Nisha struggle. But what she don't understand if you have not been paying in three years, what do you think they've been doing? Seem like the kids been doing just fine. Seem like they moving along as a family. Yo, big ass, you wouldn't have stood a chance. But see, you was a dirty bitch. And you was making that motherfucker pay you child support in Florida and Texas. See, you you the dirty bitch. See, they should have got it on your level and made you pay that motherfucker money back. Because you was out of pocket. But so... I'm in Texas. I know how this shit goes down in Texas with that damn attorney general shit. Child support office. Oh, child support gonna be on Olivia's ass. Oh, she might be getting that mild side, but they not gonna play with her. Like Florida play with people. I'm not from Florida, but from what I was told, Florida ain't tightening up on that ass like motherfucking Texas is. Okay? See, Court system, what they do when she try to flee her ass back to Florida, trying to run them kids back there and, and, and keep them away from him. Them motherfucking court system, nah, bitch, you'll move your ass back to motherfucking Texas and bring them kids so they can be with their motherfucking daddy. See, that's what that bitch wasn't expecting. I went to my baby's graduation. My baby was so uncomfortable. And the Delulus in her comment section, you can see it big as day, giving her advice to mess, telling her she to mess up Nisha's life. She to ruin her life like she ruined yours. That lady ain't ruined her life. Olivia actually got room to breathe. Olivia is not about that life, keeping her five kids up in the house with her. That is not how that's going to go down. You know what she going to do? She had them big kids watching them little kids. That's what she gonna do. These kids ain't number content for her. They content babies. So she figure, oh, okay, he wanna take my kids from me. Well then, this gonna be my storyline for my uh channel to grow off of. Um, I'm a single mom of five, but my children' daddy uh stole my kids in the middle of the motherfucking night. You notice? Has she said anything about her other baby daddy? Has she said anything about the baby daddy she said she so in love with? He's so fine. He's so this. He's so that. Have you heard anything? No, you have not. Anytime when there's some truth to shit, you'll keep on talking about it. I'm talking about how she speak up on her relationship with her children's father. Case in point, uh, AJ... And baby pink clear over there. Yeah, she trying to say they got the same father. And that, uh, yeah, he coming down for her birthday. But she on live stream talking about she don't know what dude she going to get to take her out for her birthday. Y'all, Olivia need to be put on a psych ward. Lock that bitch down. Don't even get that hole. Not even a nine by five. Enough room to move her ass around in. Because this lady... Is cuckoo for cocoa puffs. How was the baby uncomfortable? It didn't seem like Ryan was uncomfortable to me. It didn't seem like none of them kids was uncomfortable. Pretty much they in the element. They in at school 
with their little classmates. They all getting their little awards and all this stuff. And Ryan graduating kindergarten only once. She's going over into the first grade, right? And uh, you did not attend. You just fucking lying. Like I said, she's built deep. That's why these lives are did over on TikTok. She want to dare put this shit over here on YouTube. That's why she called the YouTube land haters. They some motherfucking haters. See, she tell this shit to the motherfuckers on TikTok. They don't know no motherfucking better. Girl, you did not pull up to that graduation. You is telling a motherfucking lie. Bitch, you would have to show me some receipts. You was there. And, you, and I'm not talking about pulling nothing off nobody's motherfucking page. Going up in the motherfucking uh, Instagram, looking up Gerard. She, I, I'm not talking about that. You ain't took no pictures with none of your motherfucking kids. They all go to the same goddamn school. Girl, bye. You didn't show up and you got mad because people drug your ass. They drug you fulfilled because you was out of pocket and you was wrong. So now you figure, oh, it's Nisha. Oh, you mad because Nisha was there? That bitch gonna always show up. That's what burns your motherfucking ass up. Bitch, she always show up. She show up like she they motherfucking real mama. Unlike yourself. Because of those weird people, bro, my baby was so uncomfortable. She wanted to cry up on that stage. She was so uncomfortable because it was such bad tension. It was such, like, no, there's no more documenting anything, you guys. There's no more none of that. That's over with. I, like I said, I've tried everything. <laughs> that bitch said, they no need to me documenting shit. I didn't try everything. See, they giving her all this advice in her comment section. Mm -mm. You ain't tried everything because if you would have did what that judge asked your funky ass to do, then you wouldn't even be sitting on this live having this conversation. And you can tell she fucking lying because she can't stop playing in a motherfucking dookie braids. I tried everything. I've spent so much money on this situation. You can tell that the people that's in her chat are uh, young and dumb. Now, I ain't no way no grown ass people in her damn chats telling her, can you get another judge? What they fail to realize is, and she ain't telling it to them, that case is done. It's a done deal. She can't leave Texas. She don't have no access to, like, you know, taking them kids from Gerard. She would only have access to them kids once they turn 18 years old. And that's a fact, Jack. And guess what? Guess who's still trying to lie about that? When all this shit is, uh, it's public records. People can actually look up her name and look up her shit. It's public records. Come on now. Baby, that's one of the biggest lies she could have ever told. Girl, you spent so much money on what? Girl, please. Gerard didn't have to pay for one motherfucking lawyer, bitch. How many lawyers did you need? First of all, them lawyers was dropping out of, off, off your motherfucking case because they were sick of trying to tell your ass what to do and you wouldn't fucking listen. Now, uh, allegedly, word on the curve is you didn't come up with that 400 to pay that motherfucking lawyer. But your family got money. Your mama got properties up in L.A. My mama is rich. My mama got that money. My family got money. Girl, y'all broke down ass trailer park trash motherfuckers I ain't got a baby. Girl, y'all ain't got a pot to piss in and a winner to throw that motherfucker out of. Cause Stella, you the one that looked the, the biggest, you the biggest clown on this motherfucker. Cause bitch ain't no way the fuck I be up in that apartment with that looney tune ass motherfucking bitch. I don't give a fuck how many kids she got and how much guidance that she need with them kids. Bitch, I ought to be in L.A., and my motherfucking house kicked back on my motherfucking, in, in my backyard, on my balcony, whatever, baby, drinking on me some lemonade and my feet kicked the fuck up. That bitch would be in Texas doing her. So, girl, miss me with that bullshit. You paid a lot of money. Girl, you didn't pay shit, bitch. You didn't have no money. There's no more money to be spent. This is like a death. This is like an endless, this is like an endless pile of that I keep stacking money on, stacking money on, stacking money on, stacking money on, and for what? 
like whoever the fuck wants to go to court every single month of their life to fight for their kids like you're a dumbass this whole situation is so dumb it's so dumb no bitch what's dumb is you sitting your ass up here lying like you spent a bunch of money going back and forth to court when you fucking didn't bitch you was trifling and you was found neglectful you didn't <clears throat> you failed to take the drug test you you is so full of yourself and so full of shit you is building up a whole new narrative about the whole motherfucking custody of the kids situation and just making a mockery out of it and probably when you get off the camera you probably say to yourself damn i did that shit out of be an actress bitch you ought to be because you's an acting motherfucker and i don't care i'm gonna say this that judge had no reason to take my kids away from me other than the fact that i didn't have a lawyer I didn't have anybody to enforce a uh, UCCJEA, whatever the f*** it's called, which is jurisdiction over the kids. Olivia, you had help when it came to that court stuff. You had you some court-appointed lawyers and ones that you don't have to pay for if you didn't have the money. It's still, if they would have been court-appointed court, court appointed, and you still going in there fighting for your rights for your kids, if you wouldn't have been so neglectful, and then you up in the courtroom and they found out about how you lied on on Gerard about kidnapping them kids from you. You really was trying to fuck over him and trying to send him to jail. But yet you sitting on this live stream saying it's all Nisha's fault. What where your fault at in the whole situation? If you would just go ahead and just own up to the fact that you fucked up. You fucked up. Players fuck up, pimp. They fuck up. And just get you a better mindset about this shit. And it's the cold part about this whole situation. You love your mama so much and your mama always standing on business when it come to you. And she always got your back like chiropractic. But your mama can't even sit down and hold a conversation with you and tell you what you went wrong at. And what you need to do moving forward to make your life much easier and less stressful. Bitch, you don't give a fuck about this shit. This is a facade that you putting on for the internet. You, you just think that everybody fall for your bullshit. Bitch, the only reason why I'm talking about your ass in this whole situation, bitch, because I'm critiquing the fuck out of you because you a trash-ass bitch. And the list goes on. I don't give a fuck about your life. I ain't got to talk about your ass. But see, what I'm not going to do is talk about this bitch every day. She not a part of my inner circle and what I got going on in my life. Okay? This bitch is a gutter snipe. She trash as a mama, as a daughter, as a friend, as a sister. She ain't shit. And she definitely ain't shit for sitting up here spinning these narratives. And see, the thing about it is, Gerard and Nisha don't go back and forth with Olivia. And that's what burns that whole gears. They don't entertain her. She want them to go back and forth with her so she can start some more shit. You know, get the shit going. Then she want to hold a conversation with Gerard by her motherfucking self. She ain't getting that either. See, them days, back in the day, you used to run shit. You used to run him. Talk to him crazy. Do all your little shit. That shit that faded out don't work no more. And you got a problem with that because you definitely, definitely is used to being in control. In this situation, you ain't got no control. None. Nathania. This whole situation is ridiculous. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so sad. I hate to keep stopping this video, but y'all know this hoe burns me up. Oh, Lord. If she say it says one more time on screen, people in the comments saying, draw don't see the bigger picture that is really hurting the kids. Why do y'all think that Gerard is keeping uh, uh, Olivia from her kids, you know, just dry doing some dirty shit to her, right? But the judge is the one that had the last say so what those kids was going to be and how this shit was going to go down. You want to be mad at somebody, be mad at the judge for the decision that he came up with to fix the problem. It ain't Gerard. But I guess in a sense, she probably won't judge him to 
go in the, back in the chambers and talk to the judge. Judge, no, 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 judge, that's a little bit too hard on her now. No, she needs, you know, she the kids a little bit more often. Man, can you do better than that? At that moment in time, do you really think he had sympathy for you with all the shit that he had to do? All the money he had to cough up to pay a motherfucking lawyer to help his case? And this is the shit that you keep talking about? The same exact shit. And then you try to make it like your kids are uncomfortable. Well, bitch, they don't look uncomfortable to me. What is your definition of uncomfortable and unhappy? What is your definition for that? Them kids in shit. They don't, they not showing no signs of slowing down. They don't look unhealthy. They look well kept when they with him. It's just they look throwed in the game when they get with your ass. Let's talk about it. Kids are forced to be around these all these people who hate me. What your fat ass do? Corner robbing ass in the room and pillow talk with her about what's going on over there in that damn household. And then you get your ass on the internet to talk about the shit, uh, ain't peaches and cream over there. Y'all think they, they a happy family? No, they not like it's shit going on with them in a relationship. And we don't give zero fucks if he marry her, if he don't marry her. It ain't gonna affect in my life. But, girl, don't try to sit there and act like as if they turn them kids against you. Bitch, first of all, when they come to your motherfucking house, you don't do shit with them. The only place you done took them since they been with your ass is to the fucking park. And they go outside and play with that big dinosaur-ass motherfucking dog. So, uh, they over there traveling and doing shit with their daddy and them, with, the, with, his, with the daddy and the uh, stepmama. And they going places and they striving in school. Damn, bitch, they don't make you happy. At the end of the day, I'm going to get along with the bitch that's taking care of my kids if I couldn't. I'm going to get along with that bitch because I don't think that hoe to do nothing fucked up to my children. Not only I'm going to get along with that bitch, I'm going to be cordial. I ain't got to like that hoe. But that bitch taking care of my kids, I can be cordial. I talk shit, back it up, I do all that. But at the end of the day, if that situation would have been me. And I had to let my kids go live with their motherfucking daddy and his new woman. All I'm going to need her to do is treat my kids right. And I'm going to be on my kids' ass. Hey, she got to take care of you for now. You need to listen to her and do what you are told. And it seemed like she seemed like a good mama. I know people judge people from the outside looking in. It could be <laughs> she can be over there tearing that head up. We don't know. But at the end of the day, Robin, she need her ass tapped every now and then. Because, baby, she too grown for me. I couldn't fuck with Robin. But I still will give that lady some grace. Olivia don't want to do that. She don't, she don't want to do that because all her shit done fail. The dudes that she done been with, they talk about her. Don't nobody want to be with her. You got two illegitimate kids up in your house right now that you shit it out less than two years. <laughs> you don't get no help from the motherfucking daddies. None whatsoever. Girl, he homeless? No, he's living with a bitch. He's living off the bench, y'all. Oh my God, I haven't even talked y'all this story time. Oh, I got a story time for that ass. Yes, Gerard, I'ma tell it. I'ma tell it, boo boo. How you went and got all your shit out her house and I was sitting in the motherfucking car? Did you tell your bitch that I was sitting in the car while you got all your clothes at her house? Yeah, I know where you live, bitch. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Nobody's gonna play with me. Okay. You wanna talk shit? You wanna run your mouth? You want some time to start your motherfucking house? Then I'll set this bitch off. Run up in malls trying to fight me because. And they're like, you know, they're about that life. Like, you don't somebody's man you have to be about that life because anything can come at you bitch i can come to your house shooting i can come pop your tires i can come to your job once you're fucking with my man bitch anything anything can happen y'all see that bitch sitting up there in them old videos looking like a big warrior talking about uh anything can happen she can come to your house and your job and shoot you girl you ain't you ain't got the balls to do that shit girl you only got the balls to come outside and touch the grass girl miss me with that fake ass dumb ass 
gangster behind the behind the the, the internet type shit. Girl, bye. But she's not like that. She's very much scared. She's very much don't want to answer the phone and like texting me paragraphs and you know, bitch, answer the phone. Ain't nobody gonna sit here and read this fucking paragraph, bitch. The fuck? I want to speak to you, ho. The fuck you scared of? Okay. Cause I know. Ooh. I know a lot. I know too much at this point. But I don't care no more. That's the thing. I don't care anymore. Oh, Lord, the life of a narcissist. <laughs> that girl said, I don't care anymore. But that bitch still in 2024 talking about the same shit. Okay. What the hell does that mean? Seem like a bitch care to me. Trust me, y'all. If I cared... Bitch, I, I know I've got addresses, I got phone numbers, I got car plates, I got, like, I have all the information that I need, but I don't care no more. And they do this in front of the kids. I went to my baby's graduation. I'm there, okay? I'm there. My ex wasn't there. Okay! My ex wasn't there. Exactly. But the lady comes with her lunatic sister. And I'm there. And off the bat. They're already being disrespectful, loud, you know, trying to make their make their presence known. Man, fuck you, I fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, I fuck you. Okay, Robin! Woo! Okay, Robin! Okay, I, what I don't understand is I don't understand why this woman is trying so hard other than I guess it's for social media. Olivia, are you dumb? Are you on dope or dog food? Why is she doing all this for social media? She literally, genuinely, in my opinion, I don't know about the next person, I think she gives a, a fuck about them kids. And being that she don't have kids of her own, that just made it more sweeter for her. But for you to say that she doing that shit for social media, girl, everything you do is for social media. You don't do nothing but social media. You don't have an outside life of that. You and Jasmine, y'all hoes don't function outside of fucking uh, the internet. You bitches live for the internet. Y'all can't stay off of it. That's why y'all put up videos as much as y'all do. Girl, bye. That's all I can think about because these are not her kids. I don't care what type of fairy tale La La Land that she's in. These are not her kids. Dumb, dumb. It don't matter if they're not her kids or not. If them kids, if she's celebrating their accomplishments by being there as a support system for them and, you know, and encouraging them kids, what the fuck is wrong with that? That's what kids need. Bitch, it take a village. You are not the village, ma'am. It takes a village. One thing about it is they're in a two-parent household. They both work. They both work outside the home. Yeah, they ain't, they ain't got time to be sitting on the internet like you do. And they still come together to make sure the kids get to school, get home, out of school programs, activities, feed, clothes, do travel, do all kind of shit with them. And what do you do? You stay in your damn house and stay in your room on the live stream. Locking them out and all that stupid, dumb shit. That's all you got. And you sitting there getting mad because this bitch sitting here amping them up. She She's supposed to do that. Bitch, I know I do it when my kids be uh, beating one shit. 
and 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 especially accomplishing uh really doing really well in school compared to where they was when they first got them kids them kids was in the swamps when they got them kids bitch their education is important if they don't ever get nothing else in life if they don't do nothing else in life them getting the education bitch is important it's free as fuck and it's important you don't give a fuck about their education and, and award ceremony, graduations, and all that stuff. You don't care about that shit because you never experienced it. And see, that's why I say, Stella, you need to get your shit and get the hell on. Because, see, you sitting over there being an enabler to Olivia instead of letting Olivia grow up as a grown woman. Once I ask her to watching all five of them motherfuckers in a couple of weeks, yeah, she going to be ready for the motherfuckers to go back over there to draw Gerard and uh, Aunt Tanisha. No, but see, she don't have to experience that because Mama Stella over there, the security, the nurse, the the cook, she everything up in that motherfucker. While Olivia can Cadillac and do whatever the fuck she want to do. Now, in my opinion, it's not nothing wrong if your mama give you a break from your kids when she live with you. She'll watch them for you to go do shit for yourself. But you know what she do? She watches them kids for Olivia to get her toxic ass up on the internet and lie. And she knows that Olivia is lying. But instead of her trying to correct Olivia and say, hey, you know you wrong for that shit, you need to do better. You know what she do? She encourages it. She encourages it. So, Olivia, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna, we gonna look at the rest of this child. I got other shit to do, okay? They're not her kids. And I would never step on or get in the middle of a woman or a father and their kids. Maybe, maybe when we first broke up and he was doing what he was doing, maybe I went like a week. No, you can't talk to them. That is the weirdest ish to me. That's why when I say she doesn't give a shit about them, that's why I say that because let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask y'all a question in here, okay? Let me ask you guys a question. I'm cordial, okay? Cordial. 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 You think he's still trying to say I didn't let him see his kids? I told him time and time again, you can come any day of the month, any month you, you want to, but you're gonna, stay here and you're gonna spend time with them because they're too little to to go out of state bitch what the fuck they're too little and if you don't think so and the judge doesn't think so and the subscribers don't think so i don't give it these are my children that i birthed out of my body i'm cordial as much as I don't need to be, and as much bullshit as I feel like I have to feel about this situation, I still bring myself to be cordial. The order correctly, but um, my kids were very much, in fact, kidnapped. So, um, yeah, we're gonna get it handled. We're gonna get it taken care of. And I'm not coming on as a victim. I'm coming on as a concerned mother. Fuck no. And I'm a lead, and I'm a stand on it. They're my kids. You feel me? Because I have to be for my kids. I'm at my baby's graduation. Not only do these people have the nerve to come and be loud and be obnoxious, but then at the end of the ceremony, I'm going up to my baby to take pictures with her. They bogart in front of me in front of me with my with my child with the child that i f birthed y'all know that bitch is lying through her motherfucking teeth ain't no bitch on the planet finna stop me from taking pictures or any motherfucking thing with my kids bitch i don't give a fuck if you want to take pictures bitch you can be last like i said i know how to be cordial but all in the same breath, I'm at my baby graduation and you see me sitting up in this motherfucker? Oh, bitch, we gonna set it off up in that motherfucking elementary school, bitch. I'm telling you that now, bitch. This shit right here ain't for the week. 
play with a mama bird if you want to behind her motherfucking kids. Bitch, you gonna get pecked on all motherfucking day long. I cannot picture no Antonisha and her sister blocking or stopping Olivia from taking pictures with the one she birthed out of her cooch. Let her tell it. I can't picture them doing it. Because what, what is the per what is Antonisha gaining? Like, damn, bitch, she didn't got that much power. But you talk all that shit about what you'll do to her. You talk all that shit, what, about a month or so ago? About Antonisha and her motherfucking mama and her family and all that shit, bitch. And you were letting, you, you, you literally let her stun on you like that with your kid. I, I don't, uh, 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 uh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I, I ain't about to believe that shit. You see what I'm saying? This is stuff I be talking about. And Tanisha says, you're good. You're good. You're good. You, you see, Olivia mad because when them kids have shit going on, not only do Gerard family support them, uh, and Tanisha family do too. And they waiting for Olivia to knock if she buck and fuck with Antonisha if she wants to. But Olivia is not. She is not about that. Like, this is a scary bitch we talking about. This bitch scarier than a motherfucking scarecrow. Are you kidding me? Girl, you up in here with your f camera in tow. Bitch, me and my mom and my other two motherfucking kids would have been up in that bitch. But see, that's not how she roll. She don't go nowhere with, as a fam bam with her, her mama, and them kids. No, she do not. When the fuck have you seen Olivia and her mama go anywhere together like that, that uh, to a program for them kids? You done seen them hoes up in the store together, but you ain't seen them go nowhere when them kids are accomplishing stuff. Olivia kids going to grow up. They're going to see all this shit. This shit has never leaving off the internet. They're going to see all this shit. They're going to see what type of time they mama on. They're going to figure it out. And it's not going to be cute. When they get older and Olivia think them kids going to want to come stay with her ass, they're going to think about, bitch, your tragic ass ain't did a motherfucking thing for us. And she really going to be mad in the motherfucker. she find out them kids, or oh, they call it an ass mama. Ooh, child. She going she gonna to set a fire without a match. They have the nerve to walk up in front of me and take pictures of my baby. I'm with my baby. And I'm her mother. Right, Destiny. Where's the motherfucking child support? Where is it? Girl, this bitch says she has the nerve to walk up. Oh, so you got scared? What you do? You got your your your, your keys and you hauled ass. But that's what you did. You left because you couldn't get up. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, okay, Olivia. Oh, okay. She she has a nerve. But but you have a nerve to not keep up that child support payment. Not pay that child support poor at all. Olivia, you think it's going somewhere? I know motherfuckers right now. Old as fuck paying motherfucking child support, bitch. Back pay child support at that. Because you bitches refuse to get jobs and pay and take care of your motherfucking kids. It ain't going nowhere, ma'am. It ain't going no motherfucking well. It is what it is. Get over your motherfucking self, bitch. You worry about some motherfucking pictures. Y'all remember when that bitch was saying that she didn't want Antonisha to post her kids on the internet. She couldn't do that. Those are my kids. I birthed them. Girl, please. Antonisha, just letting your motherfucking ass know. Bitch, whenever it's go time, I'm ready. And bitch, yes, you talk about me on the internet, I'm going to fuck with you through your motherfucking kids. How about that? I know it's childish. I know it's petty. But what else can she do? Gerard probably and I already told her, now nah, you're not finna fight with that bitch. And that bitch called the laws and press charges on you and all that shit. He probably already laced up. Don't do it. I don't give a fuck how mad you get. Eat that bitch alive with anything but try to fight her ass. We'll let somebody else fight her. And beat the dog shit out of her motherfucking ass. For real talk. That's how disrespectful this shit is. Now, when Liv got on here and made a whole video saying that a doctor said she had a mental illness and needs medication, this just shows us that 
Yes, she needs something. I don't know why she's running from getting the help that she needs, but hopefully this situation will maybe help her mom understand that your daughter is the problem. She needs help, Stella, and only you can get it for her. And if not for Liv, do it for the kids. Gerard already said that he and the children are getting counseling. When is Liv going to get it? She has some issues that she needs to fix. And Stella, as her mother, you should be there to make sure she gets that help. Y'all gotta let me know what you think about this situation. That's right, Destiny Reacts. Baby, you said a mouthful, and I approve that message. Okay, this was a good video, girl. You did your thing. Y'all, please go and subscribe to Destiny's Reacts. Reacts if you're not already subscribed. Wonderful reaction channel. She does an amazing job. All right? Child, let's continue on out the video, and we finna be done. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Yeah, I'm a trampoline right now. Now I'm a trampoline. She look white saying nappy heads. The fuck? Nappy heads. Nappy heads. Nappy heads. Nappy heads. Get the fuck over it. I can say what the fuck I want to say, bitch. <laughs> Y'all really got me fucked up. Like, I can't believe how fucked up y'all got me. No, you can't have none. No, uh-uh. Liv, you're too much. Girl, they got me fucked up. You know, I'm all... Bitch, I'm 51% black, bitch. Don't play with me. I can say nappy heads all motherfucking day long, bitch. I can walk up and down this motherfucking street saying nappy heads. Ain't no bitch gonna check me. Ho. The fuck? Y'all heard that big bad bitch. Y'all heard what she said. So obviously this that was a uh uh Destiny was reacting to to another video that she was doing, I guess, and she was talking in a live stream and that's she, I guess somebody must have tried to check her for calling somebody else nappy head or using just saying the word nappy head, you know what she who she talking about, okay? So she feel like she 51% black. She can call a motherfucking nappy head. But I I I I I I got a problem with that. Just like bitch, you don't you don't need to be saying the N-word. Bitch, you ain't no 51% motherfucking black. You're a motherfucking lie. Bitch, you is 20% motherfucking black. And the only reason why I'm saying 20 is because I seen that ugly motherfucker that's supposed to be your goddamn daddy. Okay? Girl, please, you a fucking Karen all motherfucking day. And what I'm going to dare you to do, bitch, I'll pay your motherfucking ass to walk down the street calling somebody nappy-headed. I, I, I would like to see your ass walk down the street and call somebody nappy-headed and talk that big shit and tell me what nobody not going to do to you. Bitch, a motherfucker will slide your motherfucking ass, okay? Slide your motherfucking ass right off in the motherfucking sewer. You know how them, the streets made with the sewer uh, right there? In the curves and on the streets. Yeah, motherfucker slide your big ass under that motherfucker. You be down there with all the damn nasty, dirty ass rats, snakes, and every motherfucking thing else. Bitch, you will get slid. Try it if you fucking want to. Bitch, you don't even come outside. You a keyboard gangster. Girl, you ain't about that motherfucking life. Bitch, please. You ain't about to get in no altercation with nobody. Just like you went back and forth with Jasmine. You talked all that shit. You spoke on Jasmine kids about calling Chris a pedophile. You did all that shit. You didn't never come with no motherfucking receipts. You ain't got no receipts for you being at that motherfucking graduation. When you sit there, make your face up, do your hair, take all your motherfucking wanna be sexy ass pictures that you think you sexy on, but you be looking like a motherfucking below fish with that motherfucking duke and ring hanging out your motherfucking nose. Girl, get the fuck fuck off the planet with that motherfucking shit. Girl, I would like to see your motherfucking rusty, crusty ass try. How about you try to go wash your ass? That's what you do. Try that. That might work for you. Why? Get cleaned up, ma'am. Because you're dirty and you're giving dirty teas. Okay? Anywho, that was the end of this in this video. Child, I made that video longer than what it was supposed to be. My bad. Sorry about that. But anywho, what y'all think about Destiny React video? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. 
Anywho, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Oh, yes. I like that.